And two angels of severe reprimand called Munkar and Nakir, bluish in nature, severe reprimand. They will come and they will tell him, they will sit him up, they will shake him, get up. Then he will sit down for questioning. This is the last of the fitna that a believer will undergo in his life. You will be asked, what is your religion? Who is your Allah? What can you say about that man? He will say, ha, 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 alas, alas. As if he remembers, but he will not be able to say it. Then he will say, la, adri, I don't know. I do not know. And the angel will say, la, darayta wa la, You do not know and you do not ask. What can you say about that man that was sent? He said, I only say what people were saying about him. Kama yokulu nas. I only say as people were saying. That is the only thing. Today we are exposed to that reality also. We don't seek for knowledge. To know the authentic sunnah from the bid'atic bid'ah. Because, because there is no bid'atic sunnah. The authentic sunnah from bid'atic bid'ah. We don't seek for knowledge, hence we don't know the difference. You say, La Adri, I do not know. And the angels say, You do not know? La Adri, and you do not even care to ask? They will ask him, and such will be the psychological torture. And with that, a caller will call from the heavens, My servant has lied. Wallah, he heard about the Prophet, he heard about Islam, he heard about Allah, but he turned a blind eye to the reality of Iman. Some will ask Allah, Rabbi Lima Shartani Ama. Ya Allah, why did you wake us up? Why did you resurrect us as, as blind people? When we were in the face of earth, we had, we, had, we had our eyes, we could see, but now you are resurrecting us as blind people. Allah said, I am resurrecting you as a blind man because on the face of earth, this was how you took a blind sight from our eyes. They recite them to you, you turn your back. So it will be said that my servant has spoken a lie and Allah will say, furnish him from the fire and open for him a door to the fire. First, the heat of Jahannam and the fierce hot wind will reach him and his grave is tightened around him, causing his ribs to break. And someone asked uh, uh, Sheikh, Sheikh, Salih, Sheikh Muhammad Salih Ali Uthaymin, in this kitab, Sharul Adisu Jibreel, Kaifa Nu'min Bil Yawm Al Akhir. Someone asked that why is it that you said the ribs will intertwine with one another, and even when you assume some dead bodies, you don't physically see the ribs of the kafir. So this is from the matters of grave. Even Taymiyyah said, believing in grave and death is from that matter, you have to believe in that. The ribs will intertwine. And a man of ugly face will appear before him and will give him tidings that will displease him. This is the day that you have been promised. And he will respond and say evil tidings to you too. Who are you? And this ugly man that appears before him will tell him that I am your malicious deeds. By Allah, I only knew you slow in obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and quick in disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah repay you with evil. But I have been love. Then a blind and dumb person is appointed for him and he carries in his hand a sledgehammer that if it hits a mountain it will turn the mountain into dust and it will hit him once the person will sound will make a shriek sound scream and it will be heard by everything except man and jinn except man and jinn. He will be hit with a sledgehammer between his ears and he will turn into dust. Allah will recreate him. He will be hit again. He will turn into dust. And the door will be opened for him from the fire and is given the furnishings from the fire. He will then say, Oh my Lord, do not establish the hour.